Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So it looks like a really good fight is brewing for March 11th on HBO Boxing After Dark and that's Curtis Stevens versus David Lemieux. This should be a barn burner. Somebody is definitely getting knocked out, no doubt about it. My only question is, will this be fight of the year or candidate of fight of the year? Or will it be just another vicious knockout by Curtis Stevens? Those are my only questions because I truly believe that Curtis Stevens, he's going to win this fight one way or the other. Now, maybe I should backtrack that just a little bit because if the fight goes into the late rounds, David Lemieux, he will have a better chance of winning this fight because last time I checked, a lot of Curtis's losses were fights where the fight went into the late rounds. And for whatever reason, Curtis, he slowed down on the gas and he allowed his opponent to take over. Now, we don't know if Curtis has fixed that issue or problem, but we're going to find out. But I truly believe overall, David Lemieux's style is just tailor-made for Curtis Stevens. Even the fact that Curtis is shorter than David, that will actually be more of a benefit and an advantage for Curtis than a disadvantage because he can just dip right underneath those punches and come back up with that counter left hook like he likes to throw, similar to Mike Tyson. And the fact that David Lemieux, he doesn't have the best defense. He's a flat-footed fighter. He's not going to try to box uh, Curtis Stevens, which Curtis Stevens had problems with fighters before as well, trying to box with him. I don't think Curtis Stevens, I don't think David Lemieux has that gear. So this seems like a fight that is tailor-made for Curtis Stevens. Now, speaking of boxing, this is pretty interesting. As you guys know by now, both of these fighters suffered a knockout loss by Gennady Golovkin. Now, what's interesting and another good question is when Golovkin fought David Lemieux, he abandoned his Mexican style, his big drama show that he created himself just to play it on the safe side and box, which there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. If you feel that's the best way to get the win, then that's what you do. However, when you promote a certain style and you in some ways indirectly take jabs at other people's style, that's the only time it looks a bit hypocritical. Now here's the question, or here's the other question. How many of you guys believe that Curtis Stevens is gonna go in there and play it safe the way Gennady Golovkin did, keep David Lemieux at bay, and basically just try to outbox and outjab him the whole night to prevent getting hit with David Lemieux's power early. How many of you guys feel that Curtis Stevens is gonna do that? You think he's gonna do that? Or do you think Curtis Stevens is gonna to continue to fight the exact same way he always does? Almost a style that Golovkin would call Mexican style, big drama show style. What do you think he's gonna do? Something else I wanna clear up. Curtis Stevens, before any fans say, oh, well, he's not gonna box because Curtis doesn't know how to box. Curtis does know how to box. And Curtis, he actually has boxed in certain fights before. There were fights earlier on where Curtis Stevens, he was trying to blast an opponent out for a couple of rounds. But once Curtis Stevens realized this opponent wasn't going anywhere, this is when Curtis, he showed his versatility and he started to box the opponent. And then the knockout came. So that's why, once again, I asked you guys the question, what do you think Curtis Stevens is gonna do in this fight? Is he gonna fight big drama style and just try to knock uh, Lemieux's head off from the first bell on? Or is he gonna play it safe and just out jab Lemieux? 
and hope that the knockout comes. Let's see what happens. March 11th on HBO Boxing After Dark. This should be a really good fight. I'm on to the next one, guys.